Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here at PAX Prime 2010 alongside James Clarendon who's here to tell us all about Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 for the Nintendo Wii. James, we're actually about to take a look at the multiplayer component, right? Sure. Yes, uh, this is exclusive to the Wii. It's a four-player Smash Brothers uh, brawl style gameplay and I think these guys are going to go off to Jabba's sail barge here. It's crazy, it's a lot of fun. Uh, eight different characters, six different environments. And here we go, they can, they're can they setting up their match parameters, and here we go, off to Jabba's sail barge. So the first thing you'll notice when uh, when we get into the game here is that uh, we've got a camera that'll zoom in and keep all the action on screen, keep all the characters uh, framed properly. And all these characters play completely differently. Boba Fett is going to be flying with his jetpack, launching missiles and using his blasters. Mars Brood is going to be getting close, setting off a repulse and getting out of the way. And Darth Vader is going to be Darth Vader. Tell us how the idea for this originated. Um, when we uh, first uh, started talking with LucasArts, uh, they asked us for some multiplayer component ideas, and uh, one of my favorite games out there was a game called The Outfoxies. It was an old arcade game that not many people know about uh, from Namco from the early 90s, and uh, it was the inspiration for Smash Brothers and Brawl. So in that game, it was these huge environments that were interactive, that were always changing, and characters that were all orthogonal to each other. They all played very differently. If you'll notice here, you'll see some T-16 skyhoppers flying by in the background that are going to be shooting out these, uh, these skiffs that everybody's jumping onto. Uh, so this is one of the instances where we've got the environment altering during the course of the fight. One of my favorite levels is the Mustafar level, which uh, starts off inside of an industrial complex, and after a couple of minutes, the lava starts to rise inside of it, destroying everything. So it drives the entire level up, so the whole thing gets transformed as the, the players are avoiding the lava and duking it out. It's a lot of fun. How much does the experience change depending on the type of character that you choose? Uh, like I said, all the characters are completely different from each other. They're, they're rated for different abilities. You can see uh, Boba Fett flying around. He's one of the few ones with uh, uh, solely ranged attacks, and he can fly his way out of here and ex even escape the Sarlacc pit. Uh, Darth Vader's slow, he's heavy. All these characters were based off of uh, uh, characters from some of, some of my favorite fighting games. Um, one of my favorite characters is Asajj Ventress, who uh, uh, has a Sith confusion for her special ability. What that will do is anybody nearby, their controls will get all completely randomized, and it's perfect to uh, take advantage of that. That came from uh, uh, SNK versus Capcom title, and uh, we've got, yeah, uh, Darth Vader's kind of the Zangief of the series, too. So uh, you mentioned uh, randomized controls there. Let's talk about how the controls work in general. This being a Wii game, obviously, the natural question is, what sort of motion control do you have? Sure. Well, uh, we've learned a lot after Ghostbusters, Mushroom Men, on how to best use motion control where it's most applicable. Uh, in the multiplayer, you're only actually going to shake the nunchuck for your secondary ability. Everything else had to be fast and super responsive. In the single player, you use the motion control just where it's necessary. We have a really uh, interesting and unique uh, combo mechanic whereby your combo rank will determine what special ability you'll use when you slam it down. So it's really sort of something that you're really deciding to do. It's not a waggle fest. Um, one of the reasons we decided to go that route was just because of the sheer number of enemies and the speed of the combat that we wanted out of the game. All right, James, well, I appreciate your time very much. One last question I've got for you is when is uh, The Force Unleashed 2 going to be out in stores? It's going to be October 26th. All right. Thanks a lot, James. Yeah, thank you. There you guys have it. That's your look at the Force Unleashed 2 competitive multiplayer for the Wii here at PAX 2010.